uh, ask a vet, shall we? Dr. Jill joins us live. Uh, doctor, we're talking about epilepsy, seizure disorders in cats and dogs. How common is that? It's fairly common, actually. You know, I had a viewer call, and they really wanted me to touch on the subject. It's, it can be very common, and a lot of things can cause seizures in pets. Well, let's start with what are some of the signs that uh, your pet may suffer from seizures? I mean, is it going to be pretty obvious, or are there some warning signs that you can catch it before it happens? Right, there are some warning signs. The first phase, or the pre-ictal, they call it, may go undetected. Sometimes your pet may lay down, kind of look around, looks like they're looking at the sun or the moon. Uh, sometimes they'll run into a wall. And then you can get to the ictal phase, which is where they have their actual seizure. And then the post-ictal is when they almost look like they're in a euphoric stage where they're kind of just spaced out, looking around, much like people. So, so, uh, can I ask, what, what, what is the cause? I mean, is it the same kind of disorder that humans have? Are there a variety of causes? Variety of causes, you're right, Paul. Food, again, you know how I always like to talk about nutrition. Too high of grains in your pet's diet. Um, I have all these grains laying out here. Dry foods sometimes can contribute to it. You want to make sure that your pets get plenty, plenty of good meat, vegetables, um, you know, fatty acids, all sorts of uh, supplements, uh, some fruits even. Check with your veterinarian first, of course, but sometimes grains can exacerbate it. Endocrine diseases are thyroid problems, diabetes, toxins. Some people put flea medicine on their pets and then their pet goes into a seizure. Mm -hmm. And also, this time of year, hyperthermia. Animals get really overheated. They can. Well, that is interesting. Now, are there some easy treatments or is this something that you really need to get your, your pet into a doctor and have a full-blown treatment? Right, you definitely want to have your pet checked out by a veterinarian. A lot of liver disease can also cause seizures in pets. So I have some supplements for liver, fatty acids here out on the table. Chinese herbs, actually, sometimes there's specific herbs that will help with seizures as well. Check with your veterinarian. Pharmaceuticals such as phenobarbital or potassium bromide. Definitely want to have your pet checked out to find the cause of the seizure as well. Phenyl barbital, isn't that truth serum? I don't, I didn't I learn that in the movies? Uh, uh, doctor, <laughs> you are always fascinating. Thank you very much for answering our viewers' questions and uh, making the time for us and say hi to Diva the dog, and we'll uh, chat with you next time around. If you'd like to make an appointment with Dr. Jill, um, and by the way, she is mobile. She can come to you or you can go to her office. Uh, you can reach her at 916-989-0738 or just check out her website. Really easy to remember. It's Dr. Jill with a Y, Dr. Jill. Dot com. Looking to get away this summer.